Hi, I'm Tina Fey, and I am about to meet the world's biggest Mean Girls fan. Let's see who it is and put them to the test. Hi, Mariah Carey. How are you? I'm good. Hi, Tina Fey. Hello, virtual hug. Virtual hug. So the people at Billboard tell me that you are the biggest Mean Girls fan. Could you tell by anything that I'm wearing that I might have seen you <laughs> once or twice? Yes, wait, what is your necklace? My necklace is an M version of the mm -hmm. R that Regina yes, and the C like, that mm -hmm. Caddy have. I'm gonna call you it. Got <laughs> I love it. Well, would you be willing to, to risk absolutely nothing and take a trivia quiz on Mean Girl stuff? I'm gonna try my best. Since it's risking absolutely nothing, then sure. We'll see what I remember too, because okay. it was a while ago. So this first round of questions is true or false questions. So I will tell you something and you tell me if it's true or false. Okay. Okay. Katie tutors Aaron in math. False. That's correct. <laughs> it's the other way around, it's right? the other way around, but secretly, secretly she's in smarter. her mind, she's tutoring him. Yes. <laughs> Perfect, batting a thousand so far. Okay, Mr. Duvall has a cast on his hand because he has carpal tunnel. Yes, true. That is true. That is and true. And do you know why he really had a, a cast on his hand? I do because... not, is there a behind the scenes reason? <laughs> really... Yeah, so right before we started shooting, Tim Meadows was riding his motorcycle out of his own driveway and clipped his own finger on his mailbox and broke his finger. Oh and... no. <laughs> okay, next true or false. When Katie throws a party at her house, her parents are at a Paul Simon concert. Oh my gosh. Um, no, I think they went to see Lady... S S I always forget the right. name. You love yes, Lady Smith Black Mombazo, is yes! that it? Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Yes, you love Lady Smith Black Mombazo. Okay, very <laughs> impressive so far, very impressed. <laughs> True or false, Damien sings Genie in a Bottle by Christina Aguilera at the talent show. False. False. Do you remember what he does sing? He sings a different song. Yes. Should we leave it there? <laughs> if you want to. I don't remember exactly what song. Do you remember what it was? No. He sings I Am Beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then he throws yes. a sneaker. He throws a sneaker. Yes. Um, Some, <laughs> someone goes, throws a sneaker at him. Yeah, yeah it's a classic. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> okay, this is all very fresh for you. No, honestly, yeah. when the movie was first released, I watched it literally every night. So this is not like I just am quizzed I on this. I love that so this much. Point. And then recently, my, my daughter, who is technically too young. No, I let my kids watch stuff like that, too, though. My, my daughters have seen it. My daughter's feel, obsessed with it. I love that. See, okay, another true or false. Karen has a crush on her cousin. True. True. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it's her first cousin. It's, she thinks it's okay because it's her first cousin. Right, because they're first cousin, but no. Yeah. <laughs> Bless. Okay, batting a thousand so far. True or false, Ms. Norbury bartends at PJ Calamities. True. True. Mm -hmm. right. Did you select that you. ensemble, by the way, when you were in the mall? Did you pick that out? I think I, I definitely probably got to like approve it. True or false, Regina joins the lacrosse team at the end of the movie. True. Correct. That's mm -hmm. true. Oh my God, this is so great. Okay, so uh, true or false, this is a harder one maybe. The four nominees for Spring Fling Queen are Regina, yeah. Gretchen, Karen, and Katie. False. That is correct. Which one doesn't belong, do you know? Karen. Yes. And who it's gets Janice nominated? It's Janice Ian. Janice yes! Ian. <laughs> yes, it's Janice. Oh my gosh, really, really well done. Okay, round two is just general trivia. Okay. What did Gretchen's father invent? Toaster strudel. Yes, yes he did. <laughs> the inventor <laughs> of toaster strudel. toaster strudel. How could I forget that? But the toaster strudel was a genius thing to say because nobody, I mean, I guess there's an inventor of toaster strudel, right. but we it's don't know. It's a weird thing to take for, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's not like he invented, yeah, penicillin. Next question. Name the nutrition bars that Katie gives Regina, claiming they will help her lose weight. Calteen bars. Correct. And this is a bonus. Uh, what language is the label in on Calteen bars? Yes. But everybody <laughs> in Africa apparently knows how to speak Swedish. Of course. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. We're, we're burning through these, Mariah. Uh, what class does Ms. Norbury teach? 
she teaches uh, 12th grade calculus. That is correct. Which um, I would never be in because I failed remedial math. I was going to say, which I got <laughs> into 12th grade calculus and couldn't do it. Literally, I couldn't get past algebra. I just have a block with math. And that's why when I was watching the movie, I was like, I wonder if she's really good at math. And that's why the teacher is a math teacher. I didn't. Yeah, no, I'm not particularly good at math, uh, but I like that I got to pretend to be good at math in the movie. And I also, in the movie, I get to act like I can play the piano and I can't play the piano. I love that moment. It's so cute. Ah, You look so happy. All right, I won't won't give away what I know or don't know. What does Karen dress up as for Halloween? She's a mouse, duh. That is correct. I feel like I I should be trying to give you a deeper cut. I should be making up a trickier Halloween. Um, Let me just see what else you know. This is not officially part of the quiz. What... um, what is Gretchen for Halloween? Um, she's like a cat woman. And yes. I've been I've been that costume before, that exact vinyl costume. I've done every slutty Halloween costume. But <laughs> I respect that tremendously. I love it. What song do the plastics do dance to every year at the talent show? Jingle Bell Rock. Yes. Which I'm a little bit disappointed they're not dancing to my song, but Jingle Bell Rock is a bit older than All I Want for Christmas is You, so yeah. that's okay. Well, we're going to make another movie of it, so if you want to license us that song for the movie and also be in the movie, just uh, just say nothing now, and we'll consider it legally <laughs> binding. <laughs> just laugh, well, and that would be legally binding. a new binding. Christmas song for them to, to use in the yes. movie. That okay, great. Fun. That's a deal. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Definitely want to be in it as well. I don't know as soon. Okay. Maybe I could be friends with the cool, with um, Amy Poehler as like her, like, you know, other friend that wears sweatsuits. Love it. (laughs) Love it. Okay, cool. Everyone saw that, right? That everyone witnessed that. Okay, good. (laughs) Oh, this is a good one. What type of jewelry is Gretchen not allowed to wear? Hoop earrings. Hoop earrings. That's right. How did you pick the name Regina? Was that somebody that you grew up with? No, that was not. It just because it means queen in Latin, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why. Because I yeah, a lot of the names were kind of like ripped randomly from people I know, but that one, Mm -hmm. like I do have a friend Damien, but uh, Regina, I didn't know a Regina. Oh, okay. I was just wondering. I was like, you know, there must be some deep-rooted reason why this person exists and is such a strong figure in the whole thing. Yeah. She's the queen. Queen She's the queen. Mm -hmm. We have two more in general trivia. Again, you are a thousand percent right on all these. Okay. Name one or both of Karen's talents. Okay. Um, Her breasts can tell when it's already raining. (laughs) Yes, that's correct. (laughs) And she can put her fist, her entire fist in her mouth. That is correct. She can put her whole fist in her mouth. (laughs) (laughs) And she can tell when it's already raining. Um. Who, final uh, general trivia, who gets four candy cane grams? Um, Glenn Coco. Yes. And that is a friend of mine. That's a friend, my brother's friend from growing up. It's this guy, Glenn Coco. And I love I, his name. He's got a Come good name. On. I hope I haven't ruined his life by putting in this. You go, Glenn Coco, if you're watching. Yes. Yes. You go, Glenn Coco. <laughs> okay. Round three coming in undefeated in every way perfect score the michael jordan of mean girls trivia are you ready for the quote section where i say a quote and you try to tell me who said it i'm gonna try this is the first quote i'm sorry that people are so jealous of me but i can't help it that i'm popular gretchen wieners gretchen wieners yes who said don't have sex because you will get pregnant and die and die coach Carr. (laughs) <laughs> during this coach car. Who said, boo, you whore? Regina. Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. I have a random question for you in the middle of this, which is, which character do you identify with the most? It's really interesting. I don't know that I identify with any of them specifically, but Regina is just such an incre- like such an amazing character portrayal mm-hmm. of somebody who's like that, that you would likely know, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? In, in mm-hmm. high school or junior high school or whatever. But I don't know that I identify, like I, I specifically identify with mm-hmm. them. Everybody was so perfectly cast in that movie. They were good. Yeah. yeah. Who do you identify with? The one thing that I do identify with was, is when Katie kind of turns and she's just like obsessed with Regina and like wasting so much time and energy. I was uh-huh. like that. 
oh, I was totally that way, but I didn't yeah. fit in at all being mixed race and living in mm -hmm. suburbs and moving 13, 14 times yeah. and having, you know, a black father and white mother. And everybody yeah. was like, who is this weirdo? So I was, I was pretty mean because I was just trying to fit in. And that was the only way I could fit in because I had like yeah. three shirts in rotation. I didn't have like, I wasn't, my yeah. father didn't in, invent toaster strudel. At all. <laughs> but then one day it must've been choir and you must've been like, hold on guys. I'm about to open my mouth and sing. Well, this is funny because I <laughs> lost the role of, um, Nancy in, in um, Oliver? Oliver, yeah, and my mom had done the play because my mother was an opera singer. Yeah, whole long story. Um, but so I lost that role, and and I don't want to get. I'll tell you one day privately my theory on why that specific teacher was giving certain girls certain roles. He was mm -hmm. kind of a coach car situation, mm -hmm. but I was very like not at not there at all mm -hmm. in terms of physicality. I just rebelled against it and started smoking cigarettes and hanging out and whatever. And then when I finally got my record deal, you know, a few years after that, I quit smoking in one day because yeah. it's a terrible yeah. habit and nobody yeah. should do it. Wow. So, that's so, crazy that yeah, so you, that's I didn't tell anybody that I sang. only like my really good friends knew because I, I was writing yeah. songs and making demos at that point. That's probably very inspiring to a lot of people who feel like really not not in the mix at 15, 16, 17, that like, this yeah. is not your life forever. Yeah. Right. But I, I made it my mission to try and make it, to try and asp to aspire to be like a Regina type. Mm -hmm. But you know what I mean? I, I did the best I could. I went to beauty school mm -hmm. as well for 500 yeah. hours in 11th grade. So well, then I got some tips. Yeah. And if we don't use that, I don't care because my book is coming out now that we're promoting it, but my memoir is coming out very... Ooh. This this year, and I'm excited about it. It's very That's revealing, cool. and there's certain sections that um, it's no Mean Girls, but it's it's got a lot of uh, stuff That's, going on. That's going to be a fantastic read. I can't and read. congratulations on writing a book because I did that that one time and it nearly killed me. It's hard to write a book, it, and it was a great book. I'm telling you, I, it really helped me get through my pregnancy. I was like, wow, she she's oh, thank you. Yeah. No, it did. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, good for you. Oh, I'm excited that you wrote a book. That's Boy, that's going to be a big deal. Okay. Uh, back to these dumb quotes. All right. <laughs> yeah, we love these quotes. Um, okay. The next quote is, who says, it's not my fault you're like in love with me or something. Caddy. Mm -hmm. Next quote is, you smell like a baby prostitute. Janice. Yes. Correct. Uh, okay. Next quote. Is your muffin buttered? Would you like us to assign someone to butter your muffin? Jason. <gasps> I am so impressed that you know his name. Because yes. he can go shave his back now. Yes. This is incredible. <laughs> this is incredible. Okay. Oh, my God. Danny DeVito, I love your work. Damien in the girls' That's bathroom. Right. That's right. Okay. So, last one. So, if you're from Africa, why are you white? Karen Smith. Bless her heart. But I have a question for you. Okay. So in the scene where everybody's getting ready for the spring, for where everybody's getting ready for the spring fling, mm -hmm. right? In Damien's room, what three posters are on the wall? Oh my gosh! I hope one of them is you. It is. That was yeah. the question, and it's actually oh. in a lavender background. It's it's, it's it, my tour book. It says Mariah okay. on it. Yeah, it's from uh, the Rainbow album. Yes. Okay. And I noticed yeah. it after I'd seen the movie like five times, and I was like, oh my gosh, there it is. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> well, Mariah, you scored 1600 on your Mean Girls SATs. A Yay, score. since I never took the real, the actual SATs, <laughs> this is making up for it. It is, or maybe it's 2300 now. The SATs changed, whatever. But yeah, you have a perfect score on your SATs. You can go to any, the Mean Girls University of your choice. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for committing in advance to write a song for the Mean Girls movie and to be in it. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> you are so welcome. Thank you for, um, for doing this. This is so fun. This is like the most fun work thing that I've ever done. So I'm glad. And I can't wait for your book. All right, darling. Have a great rest of your morning. <laughs> it's gonna go fast forward into night now. Yes, okay. <laughs> All, right. All right, Tina. All right. Bye. Hi, I'm Tina Fey. And I'm Mariah Carey. And you can watch more episodes of Quiz right here on Billboard. <laughs>